And welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Oh man, that was a little bit too close for comfort. Uh, last time... Okay, that was bad. Uh, last time, we entered this area, which has a lot of spiders in it. But most of them don't seem to be wanting to hurt us except these yellow ones, where we can only stand on the platforms ever so briefly before they try to kill us. Great. And death by spider sounds like a really bad way to go, so let's let's be careful. Um, can I actually cut through the web now that I think about it? Nope. Um uh, another complaint that I I've kind of been thinking about is the fact that well this isn't actually new, I've brought this up before. But uh, this is an adventure game. Right? And yet they have all these little platforming sections, and I don't really feel like the game was cut out to be a platformer. Like, it doesn't feel tight enough to be a platformer, and yet, and yet there are platforming elements, so it doesn't feel right all the time. Um, like this, it's just a little bit cumbersome, not gonna lie. This is this probably gonna be like a cell key, isn't it? Nope, it's just a flower. Huh. Okay, now I'm confused, because there, there doesn't appear to be anywhere we can actually go. Is this just a treasure area? Like, this is- Oh, maybe we have to go through the giant ominous door down there. Maybe that's- it. Maybe this is just an optional thing. But it feels a little bit out of the way to be an optional thing, so that's why I was like, huh. Um, but we definitely have a bomb spot here, so let's see what, what awaits us beyond this wall. It's purple, whatever it is. Um, okay. A flask? Is that con considered treasure? Uh-oh, that's a blocking spider on me. Wonder how it got so bent out of shape all of a sudden. Now we're gonna have a heck of a time getting out of here. Oh, that's interesting. It's got kind of like an Oni mask. It's just a little bit disconcerting. Hmm. Now, the, the thing that's making me question everything going on right now is the fact that we- Oh. Hey, check out this flask. It's hanging by a string. Why would this be considered treasure? Well, we won't find out until we get it down here. Um... I can't tell if this is optional or not. And that's kind of odd. Um... I was watching a live stream actually, of uh, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. And everyone was like marveling at the fact that, quite frankly, uh, there's a side quest that was like ridiculously elaborate. It's like, man, this is just a side quest, really? Can't dig on the water. <laughs> I didn't think so. Hey, Ami, there's a strange mist in this flask too, but it's something different from the mist outside. I don't know. It feels kind of comforting. Um, why am I getting this weird gut feeling that there's gonna be a guardian? Spirit or brush god or whatever in this flask. Uh, just a weird gut feeling, but uh, yeah. So, why would the emperor hide a flask here? Hmm, it might be this mist bottled up here that he's hiding. Interesting. The question is what do we do with this mist? Yeah. He's just repeating himself. Huh? You wanna go back outside on me? Just gonna leave this mist in here? How- Oh, wind. <laughs> oh, I just shot myself out of the flask. That was smooth. Ow. Wow, you're getting good at that one. Almost too good. I don't know why the Emperor hid this flask here. But he should be hawking such comforting mist all to himself. Hey, I was actually right. Hey, it's that starlight again. What's it doing here? Okay, so the mist was bottled celestial brush god aura, I guess. <laughs> That's a little bit random, but I'll I'll roll I'll roll with the game. This overkill, I know, but really did none. Though none of those counted. Great, that is just fantastic. Uh, 
Oh, shoot, I'm missing one. There we go, I'm missing this one. That's what's throwing off everything. There we go. Yeah, that one star is actually below, so it's like, that's kind of weird. I'm not sure what I'm looking at right now. Okay. A drunk sheep. That's not what I expected the crush card to look like. A parkour sheep. At that. What is even happening anymore? Probably what you seem just thinking. Ah, uh, how much I saw it involved that is good and mother to us all. After our separation, I took to wandering the corners of the earth. Before long, I was sealed away here by a sinister power. Your arrival has broken that seal. Now I, Kasagami, grant you the power of mist. Listen over all the creation, all, over all creation like fleeting dew. So, this miss, will this allow us to actually save the village? And if so, that feels oddly easy. So that's why the Emperor hid this flask like it was treasure. Kasagami the God of Mist was trapped inside. You see, Kasagami can wrap the world in a thick mist that slows down time for all things. It really did feel like I was in a dream world with no sense of time. But enough of that, that's one awesome power you just got back, Ami. If the legend's true, that brush technique can slow down... Oh. Any monster has a single stroke, even a blocking spider. Let's try out the new power of yours right away, Ami. So it's like a two line thing. Okay, got it. Just draw the mark that's there on the flask. I'll show that pesky spider who's boss. Um. Huh? Nothing happened. Was it really nothing but a legend? Um. I don't know why it has to highlight it. That feels like it's being a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. What the? Block is fire slowed down. That really is Kasukami's legendary time slowing technique. Oh, I mean, you really pack quite an arsenal of techniques. Blocking spires should be a piece of cake from now on. We'll slow down anything in our way, no matter how fast it is. I figured out something else, too. The Emperor must have a screw loose or something. I mean, why would he possibly want to trap Kasukami in there? I bet it has everything to do with that swirling mist out there. So I gotta do it while it's elevated, I guess. There we go. Wow, that one seems to respond really well. It's also the conjure for new, uh, not new, for two. This is like, why? Can I slide on this guy? Oh wow, that's just a little bit OP. Uh, I'll take it, but wow, that's cool. And now these wheel enemies shouldn't be a problem. Actually, any enemy shouldn't be a problem, as long as we can use this on it. If I saw when the bird enemy is just outside. Why did, this, why did that get a bad time bonus? I mean, like, did they really expect me to do that any faster? Um... Hmm. That's weird. Anyway, we got the time-stopping abilities, which is obviously why we're here. Um... So I feel like we're safe to move on. I assume this is like Zelda, and if we stand in the light, we just get teleported back up? What the heck is that statue there? Hmm. Over here, we have another blocking spider. It's probably gonna be more aggro this time. Or not. But still, just be on the safe side. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Um... Also, just on a slight tangent, I'm not really a fan of spiders, not gonna lie. Um... Yeah, not a fan of spiders. Um... But, yeah. Video game spiders typically don't bother me that much, except Resident Evil, actually. Which is why I do not expect Resident Evil to play, because it ain't happening. It ain't happening. Um... Another one of those little things on the wall. Well, that was easy. 
Go even further into the temple. Um. Okay, teleport you there. Ah, uh, Infinity Stone. Yay. Um. Okay, so water to the pipe. Move it down. Okay. Wait, all the way down. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, this is slow. I'm just gonna type up something really fast, just BRB. Uh, this is actually a New Year's Eve when I'm recording this, so I was just w wishing someone happy New Year while they're online. Just real fast. Okay. Um. Just jumping in case it tries to eat me. Ew. <laughs> that looks healthy. Huh? Hey look over there, Ami. Isn't that the Emperor? I'd heard that he was sick in bed, but I never expected him to be the source of that funky mist. Uh, now how are we gonna straight out this royal oaf? I mean, we're still too big to fit through his mosquito net. Oh, enemy... Spider, which to be honest, you think they'd be really wary of all these giant spiders. At least I know I would be. But then again, again, most people don't have an issue with spiders. Like a lot of people ew. That was bad. Most people don't have an issue with spiders. I'm just kind of unusual like that. I can't stand them, but a lot of people are totally cool with them. Um Yeah. Like, t pet spires to me just sounds like a really terrible idea. Um... Just saying. Teach their own. I just like the good old-fashioned cats. I don't like exotic pets. <laughs> Lol. I I'm okay with dogs, too. I'm not like a huge dog person, but I like dogs. Uh, yeah. Okay. Huh, that's interesting. You can actually jump through them. Okay, on to you. And then over here. I and mean, yes, I am typing. Trying to search something or type something. Okay. Concentration mode. And last spider. Okay, so up here. Luckily we can actually stand on that web. And we got another one of these little gold gates. Gulp. Oh, I just saw a shadow up there, which is just a tad ominous, not gonna lie. Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hi! Don't mind me passing through here. Ow. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's that part's at least nice. That they, you know, go easy on you. Okay, so blue ooh. Blue spiders you kind of have to slow down because they move fast, it seems like. Oh, they move fast when you stand on them. Oh, I see how this is. Yeah, the popping on the spiders makes this a lot harder. You can see the shadows before you can actually see the spiders themselves, which is a little bit off-putting. Um, that is a tight jump. Wow. That is a really tight jump, and we take damage every time. I should actually, you know, be careful. Uh, quote Xenoblade, Blade, but we mustn't be careless. Yes, I like Xenoblade. Blade. Uh, no, I will not let's play Xenoblade. Blade. Um, reason being is that I would not want to compete with someone with a million subscribers. <laughs> That's be blunt. Yeah, I do really enjoy the game though, and I wish I could let's play it or do something more than like a first hour. But for the time being, I guess I'll just have to take what I can get. Check it out, Ami. The Emperor's directly below us. It's like the Royal Oaf's mouth is beginning. It's just begging us to dive in. On in. Ew. 
Okay. Are we inside Temper's body now? Well, I mean, you're one fearless wolf. This should, it shouldn't be the fastest way to get to the root of the problem. Uh, okay. Hey, what's this funny looking thing here? Oh, I know. It's that dangly thing that hangs down the back of the throat. Uh, I bet if we tickle it, the world of would sneeze. That's probably our best bet for getting out of here. Let's save that for later. We're gonna go in the other way now. Yeah. It's my least favorite dungeon trope in games is dungeons inside of living organisms. I don't know why, but it's just really nasty to me. Every game seems to do this, though. Wonder what's in there. I have a feeling we're in for trouble. You're not gonna turn back now, are you, Ami? Uh, um, considering he's warning us? Uh, I kind of wish I could go and save. Oh, man. And now we gotta save. I'm, I'm going back. I'm ending off here. Something bad's gonna happen. I just know it. Considering Isu's warning me, something bad's gonna happen. Yeah, so next time we'll go back and go deeper into the upper's mouth. Yuck. Thank you for watching and I hope you join me next time for more Okami.